Award-winning American actress and lifelong LGBT ally B. Arthur is fondly remembered for her strong female characters, her sharp wit and her generous heart. Born in Brooklyn, Arthur was conscripted to the United States Marine Corps during World War II and following DMOB, she enrolled in drama school, making her Broadway debut in 1954. Throughout the 50s and 60s, she appeared on numerous TV shows, but it was her portrayal of Vera Charles in the 1966 theatrical production of MAME, alongside Angela Lansbury, which brought her stardom and a Tony Award. Reprising a role in the 1974 big screen adaptation, this time opposite Lucille Ball as Auntie MAME. MAME, darling. You look awful. The 1970s launched her sitcom career as the outspoken liberal feminist Maud Finlay, first as a special guest in the hit comedy All in the Family. Leading to her own spin-off series Maud in 1972. Maud tackled issues such as gay rights and abortion, considered taboo topics for a sitcom at the time, but which earned her an Emmy. I cannot put up with a whole weekend of your archaic views on gay people. In 1980, CBS aired the B. Arthur special with guests the Outre, Waylon Flowers and Madam, and saw her perform a comedy duet with Rock Hudson about getting high. But it was as Dorothy's born act in The Golden Girls that she secured her place in TV history. More adventurous? The Kama Sutra had to publish a supplement because of you. Winning her second Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress and leading to her charitable work with PETA, the elderly and various HIV charities. In the latter part of her career she returned to the stage with the Tony nominated B. Arthur Just Between Friends. And despite suffering with cancer she agreed to stage a one-off performance in 2005 to raise funds for the Ali Forney Centre, a homeless shelter dedicated to helping LGBT youth. The biggest benefit up to that point that we'd ever had. In one of her final public appearances in 2008, she accepted the TV Land Pop Culture Award for the Golden Girls and was also inducted into the Television Hall of Fame. In June 2009, B. Arthur died, two weeks shy of her 87th birthday, leaving large amounts of money to charities directly affecting the LGBT community. 2016's campy superhero movie Deadpool added to Arthur's legacy by paying $10,000 to use her image, which also went to the Ali Forney Centre, who in recognition of her generosity opened the B. Arthur residence for homeless LGBT youth. People in this country that kick their kids out of their house because they're gay. Beyond our love for Dorothy's born ex gravelly retorts, it's clear B. Arthur did more than just make us laugh or think. She made the world a better place. And for that we say, thank you for being a friend. We're probably looking for drugs. We have Maalox and estrogen. <laughs>